Alrighty, good day everyone and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 and welcome back to our Real Economy Reloaded series and uh, welcome back to, where are we, in, uh, some Polish town where we just delivered 23 tons of milk in the first, well I wouldn't say long range or long haul but it was a like midish haul, 1220 kilometers. Um, okay, let's do a quick assessment here. Um, 23, uh, 53,717. Again, I'm pretty, um, keen to keep this above 20, uh, 52,500 because this is where we were once we, um, bought a truck. So this means we are making money, not losing money. Skill wise, we are putting everything to long distance for now. And, um, yeah, 1,220 kilometers you see was just below the um, threshold for getting a higher reward. But anyway, um, freight market, okay. We are here in this city and we can go to Nuremberg. Well, that sounds pretty good to me, but this is an important delivery, but never mind, we are rested, so that's totally fine. 924 kilometers, okay. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. Let's do that. Cool. Okay, then let's get inside and uh, let's go. start the truck. Okay, we can get um, uh, 800 kilometers. Not really, but um, with a trailer, it's like 400 probably or 500. And uh, yeah, let's see. What the fuel costs here in Poland. Okay, that's oh it's just over there. Nice. And we don't have to oopsie daisy. Would have indicated, but um Turn right. Never try to um go when the pedestrians are walking there. I don't really know if you can even run over anyone. Have to be careful when we exit here. Yeah, finally. Finally. 30 seconds. It was really hard. Good. Freight market. And uh, no work. Exactly. Okay, job. Time to get the job done. Yeah, then let's see where would they want us to pick it up. Probably here somewhere. And uh, let's uh, maybe we have to. Um. Okay. No. Mm, okay. Ah, here. Okay. Uh, the one on the right is ours. Good. Not the most beautiful city there, but um, doesn't really matter. Okay, let's try to straighten out. It's a little bit too far here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, nice. Let's do this. Good. Range now 600 kilometers. Oh, that's okay. Let's try. Can we get out here? No. We have to go around again. Oh, thank God the truck isn't shaking anymore. Um. Okay. Mm, thank you for putting this stuff here. But we should be okay. That seems to work out. So, 925 kilometers, 13 hours, which means we have to make one stop. Wait a second, how many, t how much time do we have? 41 hours, okay. That should be more than enough. Okay. And now be careful here with the pedestrians. That looks good. Oh, there's a pedestrian, I hope they wait. Turn right. Yes. Turn 
Turn right. Again. Ooh. Okay, wait. Um, where's the fuel station? We actually really passed this fuel station. Okay. 71 kilometers. Time to hit the road. Get ready to turn right. Yes. Turn right. Oh, oh, this is a nice... Wow. Very nice here. Hmm. Cool. Very nice apartment Go straight buildings. on. Yeah, going straight on. That's really good. Huh. And another AMG GT four-door version. Record sales numbers, I guess. With this thing. Okay. Ooh, getting to the countryside here. Nice. And out of town. Now we can go 70. And let's do that. And um, um, this isn't exactly a motorway or highway. We're still on some B roads and we are going slightly uphill as it would seem. What are we towing? 21 tons? Yeah. Ah. We only have 420 horsepower, it's not that much. Change down. I'm definitely putting on the hazards now. Okay, now we are making some speed. And I can also give way by going to the inside lane so people can overtake. Oh, there's nobody behind us, so we never really blocked anyone. Cool, nice. Um, build 70, yes. That's an interesting building over there. What is that? Oh. Now that it's going back downhill, there's of course a traffic light. Cool, thank you. We have to go left over there. I hope this is not a roundabout. Then I hope we can get on the motorway soon, but um, we're definitely going to because the I think the petrol station that I saw was on the motorway. So. Keep left and then turn left. You. Turn left. Horses. No, just one. Hmm, two. <laughs> what was that? You just smashed into that guy. And now you're smashing into me. <laughs> okay. Very weird people here. Um, again, very weird people. Yes. Okay, thank God. A two-lane... What is it? Is it a B road or is it a motorway? Doesn't matter. But um, no, now it's a motorway. Okay. Whew. Thank God. Well, then we should get to the um, petrol station real soon. Then let's see. 
Oh, the petrol costs here. Really struggling here with this 21 tons. 73, 75. Um, This is our fuel stop. Oh yeah. Keep Let's right see. And then exit right. You. And we will come below fifty two thousand five hundred, right. most likely. Okay. Go straight on. Yes. Right after we filled up. Um, you are in the way of the petrol station because... Thank you. Again, very weird people here. Okay, let's see. 158, so it's really, it's not as slow as in the Czech Republic, but it's still pretty good. Unfortunately, a very big tank. So this is going to cost a lot. What are you doing here with your, what is that? No idea. X4, I guess. Are you honking at me? Oh, there's a big traffic jam behind me. 1456. Ooh, crap. But there's another 2600 kilometers. Um, okay. Yeah, now we are below 52,500. But um, then again, we are making a delivery. Gives us a whooping, whopping 1300. It's almost a tank. Yeah, it's not as easy, but that's the whole point. It wants something that wasn't as easy. Um, yeah, now we accelerating Keep pretty left, okay -ish. And then continue straight on. Um, is there another Go lane? On. Uh, yeah, I'm going straight on. That's not the best idea, I guess. Oopsie daisy. Sorry, that was um, not very good. Um, yeah, very interesting engine noise there from this Tesla. Oh, yeah. Can. 35 liters and kilometers. Okay, yeah, that's I, I said this is where we are uh, ending up with this. Um, I'm currently putting points into the long range thing with the experience. I think I will do all the eco driving next because, as we saw, fuel is it's not bankrupting us, it's not really a huge problem, but it's it's a, um, a cost that is, of course, um, yeah, with us, with every kilometer we drive, so it's worth investing in reducing that, I think. Anyway, oh, that looks like a power plant or something like that. Whew. 
Whew, nice uh, to roll down the hill a wee bit after all the struggle uphill. Um, in one of the prologue episodes, I drove in MAN something or other with 640 horsepower. Um, and I liked that truck a lot. I, I said I wanted to have this as my truck that I use here in this series. However, I couldn't really wait. And I, um, in my main account, I um, bought this. And it's... Wow, it's so good. It's unbelievably good. And I probably should make a video about it. Like, explaining why it is good. And, yeah, this is now my main... My new main truck, and um, I'm just using that one. Go straight on. And this um, does not really struggle a lot with heavy loads, even though it's just a two axis. But the 640 horsepower is no problem at all. And it's such a nice interior and such a nice engine sound. And it's yeah, oopsie. It's really good. I like the loads. I can't wait to get it here. But I'm not really sure what I paid for that. Mm. Must have been 200,000 or something like that. Or maybe more. Yeah, this is um, going to take a while. Because currently we are even below the... Go straight on. Below the value that we started at with this truck. But again, we're going to get over that. And the more experience we get, the more the higher the level is, the more money we get per delivery because of the experience or because of the level that's the proficiency bonus. And um, I don't know if this if this is kept anywhere or if this just increases further and further and further and further. That would be really cool because then it would motivate me to um, to climb the levels even first further. Okay, let's try to get over here. <laughs> Do you know where you want to go, truck? Okay, let's go over here. I think I... Last time I... It turned out that if you use the second one from the left it's the optimum if you are on a two lane motorway um, but the tanker's already out so it was a lot faster okay so what does this cost us here uh, so far nothing they give us the bill at the end of the road. Well, okay then. Let's proceed. And again, this is a very DMD 640 horsepower MAN. It's a very, very refined engine. It's, it has a really nice sound. This here is, um, yeah, not really there, but this is, this is also looking very interesting here. What is that? Uh huh. Cool. Oh, I have to take a picture. Let's take a picture of that weird thing. Good. Took a screenshot thumbnail or whatever but um, that was uh, very weird looking there okay another power plant or anything like that a nice little village yep. I'm waiting for that lane keep assist Ooh, this toll station
Uh, let's see what what last time I think I went here the same way from the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yellow indicates that I've been here before, so I think last time it was four euros or something like that. It was like nothing. Two euros even. Okay. So yeah. Oh, we should um, plan our rest stop maybe. How long do we have until we have to rest? Five hours. About five hours. Um, okay. So let's have a look. Five hours. Five hours. Five hours. Mm, here maybe? No, two hours. That's too close. But would, no, that's actually three. And our trip time is 10, so that's actually not that bad. Okay, let's... Um, here? Four hours? No, that's, that's too... No, no, let's, let's do this one here. Okay. Drive safe. Uh, yeah. Go straight on. Okay. Mm oh, the city. Mm. Almost crashed there. Okay. Katowice is this. Now what city is this? In front of us, Katowice. Yeah. We're going to Ostrava. Ostrava isn't that Czech Republic? Hmm. Damn. Could have filled up there. Was this an E39? He's off. And the AI is very aggressive here with the undertaking. Um, it's not something that you see a lot in reality. But here they are doing this. Keep right and then exit right. Ah, okay. Strava, indeed. Czech Republic. Exit right. What's this? Another weird building. Okay. Sometimes I just want to stop and have a look around. I can do it in my main account. Oh, eighty again. Here we have no time to fool around and look around and all that. Well, of course we do, but we should focus a little bit more here. Again, with the vanilla economy, you don't have any issues at all. You just you can buy a mod car and then drive around for three days or whatever. It's not really any problematic but here okay we're going to Czech Republic now okay all oh, right this was the border no it wasn't where the last time everything went wrong people were crashing into each other and there was a huge traffic jam what is your car that looks very strange <laughs> okay Hmm. Last time we came from Düsseldorf, I think. So it was 
We didn't go through the Czech Republic, I don't think so. And we got here. It's another power plant. Holy shit. Hmm. Volvo 740? I like this old. This extreme edgy. Like literally edgy design. Like not not very round or anything, just everything is hard edges. And then these huge glass windows. So cool. I have to buy one. In game and in real life. I don't know if this is there a mod format, we have to look. What is this? No idea. Hmm. Uh, okay. <sighs> Good. How far are we away from our rest stop? Mm. One hour, fifty minutes, ninety kilometers. Brünn. Ah, we were in Brünn once. Right, I remember. We had a delivery then. Well, that was the drop-off point of one of our deliveries. Anyway, why are you going so slow? Hmm. Weird. Hmm. Now you're going faster again? Okay. And now you're getting off, okay. Then I can back, can, then I can get back over. Good. Oh, what time is it? Oh, oh no, and we sleep all night. Well, that's usually a good thing, but here I'd rather drive at night. Mm. Damn. Get to our rest place in like, uh, I think we'll be maybe at seven or eight then sleeping for ten hours oh that's not good sleep until six in the morning or something like that wow nice sunset Right, and then turn right. Hmm, okay. Turn right. Now keep left. Keep right, and then turn right. Ah, okay. Okay, let's find a new route. Good, no. That was, um... Wow, nice sunset. How long now to our rest stop? 37 minutes, okay. Hmm. It does not seem to have a big effect on our route. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. That was not very good, but um, again, this is uh, oh no, this is an urgent delivery. Hmm. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good at all. I think. Wait, we have to sleep ten hours. We have thirty-five. Oh, all oh, good. No problem. Okay, uh, never mind then. Keep left. But we're really getting 
Hä? We're basically on the same road that we're supposed to be. Even though I cocked up the... The exit. Yeah, never mind then. Um, yeah. Because we sleep 8, we sleep until 6 in the morning. Uh, and we have to do the last 7 hours then completely in... During the day, so rush hour and whatnot. Um, yeah, guys, could you please... Accelerate. That's what the acceleration lane is for, usually. It's not like you cannot do it, because now you can. Oh, this is our rest stop. Keep right, and then exit right. Okay. And we can have a look at the fuel exit prices here. Right. It was 158 in Poland. Um, I'm just not sure. Oh, parking for lorries was on the right anyway. I've never seen this type of fuel station before here. At least I cannot remember. Ooh, okay. Let's see, what is the price here? 152. Okay, so Czech Republic is the cheapest. Followed by Poland, as it would seem. Okay. Mm, have to sleep at night. That's bad. Okay, just in case, um, how long is the episode? Okay, so I end the episode here, most likely. Um, but uh, let's rest first. And um, yes, six o'clock in the morning. That's really not good. But anyway. And we continue this uh, next episode. Until then, take care and uh, choose them.